In this video, I'm going to cover the camera pan, zoom in, and fade in audio, fade out audio filters. So first, let's take a look at the camera pan. I have a video here with a music track. I drag my camera pan onto my clip. Let's set this up. We can choose the animation. We can either zoom in, zoom out, move left, right, up or down. It's going to crop into the video a bit since it needs to be able to move it around. Let's up the default here. You can see it's applied our zoom. Let's take a quick look at some examples. There's the zoom. Here's left to right. Because you won't see this effect applied within the preview window. It'll only apply in the final render. We didn't get the pan there. Let's remove this camera pan. Let's take a look at the zoom in filter. Now this is especially useful when we're doing a nine by 16 video. Cause as you can see, we're taking a widescreen video, putting it into a portrait. We can quickly fix that with the zoom in filter. And we can choose where we want. Now it's zoomed into the clip. We've gotten rid of those top and bottom bars. And we can also use it if we just want a close up. We didn't want all that background scenery. Something like this. There we go. And then the final filter for this video is fade in, fade out audio. Now this is only going to apply to audio tracks. This is useful when you add in something like background music. Chances are you're going to have to cut off the track to match your video length, but that won't be the end of the song. So rather than just having it abruptly cut off at the end of the video or in between scenes, you can instead add a fade out filter. So it'll gently fade into silence. Now you can apply both of these filters. For example, if we had another scene, First one is fading out, we have this next one, fade in, and then also fade out at the end. Now this you won't hear within the preview either, but you'll see it in the final render. And that's it.